How is it to have a YouTube channel while sailing cruising? Is it always so glamorous as it looks? Well, tonight we will talk with Yuan and Marling at the RON to see what they have to say about it. Um, yes, and let's see if we have Yuan and Marling on RON here. Yes, we do. How are you doing? Hi. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> Great to be here. Yeah. <laughs> Great to see you. And um, you've been sailing since uh, December 2016, right? Yeah, we, well, we left January, January 2016. 2016. Yes. Why did you leave in the middle of the Swedish winter? Uh, well, we yeah, were that's... like, we had already... Uh, uh, we had already like finished our jobs or, or quit yeah. our jobs. And we're like, we don't want to just spend the money that we save, saved like here. Well, back sitting in the marina waiting for the summer. So <laughs> we thought, Let's that, go. why not leave now? And We can't wait any longer. <laughs> well. and, so, and sailing down the, the European coast is, even if it's in the winter, there's it's pretty close between the marinas. So. But it was cold. It was cold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when you left Sweden in the middle of the of the winter, what was your plan then? No, it was just to sail <clears throat> to to the warm climate really and sail slow. And we knew that we had to like stay, spend some time in marinas, waiting for good weather. But we were just happy to like start the adventure just to leave our home port. Yeah. Even if we would just go to like the next port, like we, we did, like we went to your home port. <laughs> yeah, <so far. laughs> uh, and then you, the adventure has already started. So yeah. that was so much fun. And, and, mm -hmm. and I guess the, the greater, I mean, plan that we had was to be out for maybe two years. That was more or less our budget when we left Sweden back then. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, it's obviously, uh, became a bit longer than that, but that was the <laughs> yes. yeah. yeah. But when you left, did you know at that time you wanted to start a uh, y y y YouTube channel also? Yeah, we we uh, yeah, we had already we had started it. I think we had put up like one episode just as we were about to to leave, like those mm. in those same days, because we decided that we wanted to film uh, the trip and the adventure because it's more fun to look back to than just having a bunch of photos. Mm -hmm. And then we were also thinking like, but if we film a lot, it will just sit on a hard drive. So let's do like a proper video from it. And then we can, we upload it. So our friends and families can watch and also like anyone can watch. So that's why we also decided to do it in English. Yeah. yeah. And then it has just grown. <laughs> we are really happy that you did that. Yeah. Um, maybe before we continue, you should maybe tell us a little, little bit about your runs because you sailed out with one boat and you more or less came back with another boat. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When we left in 2016, we had a 40 foot aluminium uh, B some 40 uh, sailboat, Manuhal. Um, and we sailed with that boat for four years. Yeah. We sailed to the Pacific and up to. Alaska and then down the Canadian West Coast and down to the US and the whole uh, US West Coast uh, down to Mexico. Mm. Uh, but by then, Marlin was pregnant. So the plan from the beginning was to continue out in the South Pacific, but mm. we had to change our plans since Marlin got pregnant. So we decided to go back home to Sweden and sell the old boat in Mexico. Mm. Uh, so now we have a Another boat, it's a Nayad 440, a bit bigger boat, an old one, but still a monohull. Also Swedish. Yeah, boat. also Swedish. Mm -hmm. yes. boat. <laughs> uh, yeah, and we're very happy with the new boat, and uh, we looked a lot before we bought this boat. But uh, And yeah. we had our daughter in uh, November uh, 2019. So she's now 15 and a half months old. Her yeah. name is Vera and she's sleeping right now. So yeah. <laughs> just, I'm just going to warn you, she might wake up and then I will just sneak away and I will come back. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
I, I can expect that there's a lot of people here knowing what their problem is. I mean, now with the pandemic and everything, people are so used to working from home and, and uh, all, all our children are going in school from home also. Is, is, that, is that sometimes a problem for you when you're working that now it's, it's not just the two of you? It's it's different. It's different from what it was before. Yeah. Um, I mean, we were used to being able to work both of us both at of the us, same yeah. time. Like one was working with a boat project and the other one was working with videos or uh, admin work. Uh, but now we have to take turns and working and take turns of uh, taking care of Vera. Yeah. So, um, Everything just takes a little bit longer, like all the projects and all the work we do. Uh, but uh, and we wouldn't want to have it any other way. It's, but it's no. it's different. So we tend to also because of that, we tend to spend more time at the places we we visit now because it takes a bit longer time to film uh, and also to do the, the, the editing and also the maintenance of the boat. Everything takes a bit more yeah. time, but yeah. that's that's okay. Yes. Yeah. And, but are you always uh, 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 recording or filming? Yeah, even now. <laughs> <laughs> this is our next video. Yeah. Tell you. No, no, we we're not uh, always recording. Not at all. Like it can be it can go days where we don't film at all. Um, so um, we kind of like plan a little bit, like knowing ahead. <sighs> where are we going or what will we do like in the next coming weeks or so yeah and what uh, can be interesting to to show in the videos because yeah. we don't feel that every aspect of our daily lives is so interesting to mm. put in the videos but uh, it's more of the place that we we'll be visit and maybe yeah how we get there and our lives in that respect that we live in a sailboat and our lives mm. is revolving around that so, I mean, that is something that has changed a little bit um, during the years as we become, uh, I guess, like better uh, at filming and uh, those type of things. So in the beginning, we filmed, I think, much more, like like yeah. a little bit, um, not all the time, but uh, more frequently like that. But then after a while, you get more into it and you also get, you get more efficient yeah. in the way you film and uh, start thinking more like uh, what do we want to tell from this place that we are going to visit now or where we are right now and we have to do something on the boat yeah let's um, let's share that that can maybe be interesting yeah so that's a little bit of how we think um yeah, regarding the videos it has evolved of course since we left uh, how we film and how we do our the the editing and everything Malin is doing the editing and she's gotten a, a, a lot better since we since we since we started with all of, all of this but also yeah, like yeah, you said, like uh, like many people they they tend to ask like if we have if we worked with this before yeah. but none of us have worked with uh, filming or um, this type of media or making editing. videos so we just decided like we want to film and you have filmed like on your previous sailing trips yeah. but then internet but, wasn't <laughs> that uh, yeah. internet was around but uh, <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't possible to do the editing on a laptop really back then and they weren't oh. fast enough and also it was a bit more complicated because yeah the cameras were bigger and you had these tapes and uh, yeah. It, yeah yeah i don't think youtube was really around either yeah. but it's uh, it has evolved quite a bit since since but those. i think you're just keeping up with time because when you were sailing with your with your first what was called dream row savage rose what's it called uh oh you mean the, uh, my first trip uh, that was uh, a one-year trip to the caribbean with the uh, kiki a danish yeah. Worker, so. yeah, that's what, but you were blocking at at that time and i mean there's yeah. lots of bloggers who are now uh, youtubers so that's yeah. just a normal uh, evolution of uh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. But I think as well, there's many people that think that, okay, I'll film a little bit, I put it on YouTube and everything is fine. Uh, yeah. We were we were filming with the SVT, the Swedish television made a program when we were out sailing and we could yeah. see how how, many, how much time they put in <laughs> for this little, that they like showed. 10 hours of work for maybe yeah. 
two and, minutes of television. And we also have tried to make some short YouTube films our own, and it takes a a fortune of time and i was thinking about how much time do you put in it every week so you can put out a new episode yeah no it's really true what, what you guys say it says yeah. it, it does take so much more than what is actually coming into a video yeah. Yeah. and maybe not like 10 hours for two minutes of film but maybe oh. half of that yeah mm -hmm. i mean we have a lot of hard drives <laughs> because yeah. we, we we keep all our footage and it uh, adds up very quickly so we mm -hmm. tend to buy a lot of hard drives but uh, regarding to like how long time it takes to edit a video we get that question also a lot and yeah. uh, we we used to say like do we say an hour per minute yeah just about i mean yeah, it's, i think maybe. it's on average 20 hours mm -hmm. of editing per week and yeah. that's not including the filming so no. that's just the editing. Mm. Um, yeah. and, um, and the filming part is, is hard to say because it is like um, a part of our lives too. So like if we do something, we bring the camera and we might film something, but it's not like the same production as maybe a TV production no. would I mean, make it. Yeah. We so what to... is here, would it be nice not to have to put up a new episode every Friday? sometimes just to skip one week would that be nice uh, depends on i, I mean, think a little bit of what we're doing and uh how yeah i mean is. i think i mean it depends i mean if you to be successful on youtube i think you need to be consistent to really have an episode yeah. uh, maybe you don't have to have it every week but at least you should have the same like uh, schedule schedule yeah. all the time because people they expect they, they, they expect a, yeah. a video every friday at eight o'clock so we, we really try to do that uh even if some some weeks of course especially nowadays with vera it, it can be stressful some weeks but uh for yeah, the most of the time happen. it's uh it's okay yeah so yeah. So one of the challenges we have now when we've been um, in Sweden for a long time and it's the, the winters are very long here and we have been at the dock for a long time, it's harder to, to find something to film and yeah. we want yeah. to film something that is interesting and, and share that. So that has made us that we're much more caught up in real time. And that is a big challenge because you are more vul vulnerable if something happens, if you, I don't know, get sick or have some a lot of plans. Um, it does yeah. um, It's make better you if you have like, a, if you like behind a couple of weeks uh, yeah. from real time. Yeah. yeah. It makes yeah. it easy, a lot easier. Yeah. But this is, as uh, Sherry Pickett says here, we have learned so much from your videos from Toronto, oh. Canada. So That's I think cute. there's a lot of people that are very happy every Friday at eight o'clock. <laughs> yeah, yeah we have such a great community. Definitely. It's, it's the yeah. best thing, really. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I have had a lot of good experience about working abroad, but I also had some bad experiences. The first time we were cruising in the Mediterranean, I was freelancing as an IT consultant. And it was not always that funny because we had to plan the trip from the weather and from the other, other sailors we met and from the beach parties and stuff like that, and also from my customers' uh, demands. And it was not always that funny. See, my readers, mm, yeah. <laughs> I mean, getting into a bay, ready for swim, everybody has their swimsuit on, we're ready to jump into the water, the telephone calls, and the client says, Oh, you know, my website doesn't work in Internet Explorer. Where I, was like, I mean, could I care less? I'm going to swim with my children now. I mean, but but normally, like we said, we, we lag behind a couple of weeks with our episodes. So we in in normal, we, we have at least four episodes uh, filmed already. Uh, so we have a lot of air in our schedule. So if we like to, we could take a couple of days and just do something different if we if we like to but of course then we have to work more later but it's really yeah but nice be... in that way that, that we can control when we work and doing the editing a bit bit more normally but now we're a bit closer to real time <laughs> <laughs> we're doing everything ourselves 
Yeah. So we are not depending on anyone else no, and no, no one is contacting us. So that's that's a great thing that we have that we can we have that freedom that we choose when we want to work and uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. we do it. Yeah, we turned the weeks around. So we said when the first time we were out sailing that long, we said you work two days and have five days off. Hmm. And we all anyhow we felt it was a little yeah. stressful sometimes. <laughs> two days is a lot of work. <laughs> But, yeah, but also at, at, at the at working as an IT consultant, I think I can tell you that gives a lot more money than working as, as an author. And and I could expect that uh, that maybe you could have other jobs also that would give you a lot more money than what you're doing now. Do, do you have any thoughts about that? Yeah, maybe, no, uh, not really. Cause... I mean, my background is as a carpenter, so that's really hard to do. <laughs> <laughs> on the, yeah. the, the internet but um no but i mean uh, the biggest reason why we decided to change our lifestyles yeah. and and do this adventure start that adventure and sell everything yeah. that was to have more time more time we wanted to work less in that like nine to five type of job yeah uh, so when i mean when we started to see like that uh, the videos were giving an income yeah yeah we were like just so happy because we could continue traveling yeah. but we have we're always really um what do you say like uh, thoughtful about keeping the balance yeah, between definitely. not working too much because yeah. we don't want to be as we were before you know no so we I want mean, to have that um change yeah and, we still uh, want to be true to why we actually left from the beginning that we want to go on an adventure and have more time yeah. and not working uh, i mean that much now uh, we don't really see it as working really because we it's so different and, and it's also different when you work for yourself i yeah. i know many and people really, that have their own businesses say, says that uh, you might not maybe you don't work that much less but when you have that freedom and you can choose but yeah. it's key it's it, it's important for us to keep that balance not working too much and it mm. uh, should be fun if it's not then you ha we have to do something differently or change some things and uh, we are just happy as long as we can continue sailing, like maintaining the boat yeah. and all. Yeah, all I mean, that it's stuff. nothing that we do to, you know, make a career. And if no. we would like to earn more money, there are, there yeah, are of different course, options for sure. You know, <laughs> yeah. um, sponsors or paid uh, partnerships or stuff yeah. like that. Yes. But it could be interesting to hear the conversation you had the two of you the day that you realized now we have earned our first dollar on our sailing i mean that must have been yeah. a really big thing right <laughs> yeah that was a big thanks to our uh, families <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. because they were our first patrons <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so that was like wow it's amazing <laughs> i remember the first paycheck was nine dollars uh, after three yeah. months, I think so. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, it was, uh, it, we just, we were like blown away, like yeah, that but... people liked the, what they saw so much that they were actually thinking like, we want to support the videos, um, like the production all the time we put in, uh, yeah, which has also it. made it possible to continue making the videos because they do take so much time. So mm. otherwise without that, it wouldn't be possible. No. Um, but it was, yeah, it was very cool. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> But I would like to ask a question mm -hmm. in a total other direction because people are wondering about sailing with small children, sailing long terms, and uh, how do you do with the sleeping and the entertaining of Vera? 
since we got Vera, we have only sailed in Sweden yeah. because, um, yeah, beginning of uh, last year, COVID happened. Mm. And um, well, we were happy in the way because we had already planned to sail in Sweden for, for, the, summer. for the summer. And because um, we, the new boat we got here in Sweden. So we were so lucky in that way and lucky in that we could sail in Sweden, that it was open. Yeah. Um, but in, at the same time, we haven't done that long sails. Uh, so the longest um, trip we made was when we sailed back to Malmö, our home port. So it was about uh, one and a half day, I think. Yeah, a bit over, um, 20, I think, 30 hours or so. So just an so, overnight sail, really. Yeah, but that was but, the first overnight sail. And we actually did it just to try and see what it would be yeah. like. Yeah. And uh, I mean, Vera, she was just like normal. Yeah. <laughs> No problem at all. It's the big difference is for for us, like the yeah. parents, uh, yeah. that yeah. Uh, you cannot just uh, think about like yourself anymore. Like if you feel queasy or tired, before you could take a nap or rest or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Now you have to also entertain and take care of uh, another person yeah. and uh, to to take um, to attend all her needs. Yeah, so it's um, more. I mean that we sail. We tend to sail the boat like single-handedly a lot, and uh, nowadays, I mean, because someone has to take care of Vera all the time, yeah. so yeah. all the maneuvers and everything, we tend to do that. Uh, I mean, when we're docking, we try to get Vera happy in her share so we can dock the boat together, but sometimes we have to do that as, uh, on our own as well so yeah but it, everything have worked out really well yeah. and uh, of course everything will change with the uh, with the time as she gets older yeah. um so um but but we haven't tried any i mean it will be also interesting to see uh, when we make longer passages maybe mm. when it's a couple of days or yeah. when you like when you cross the bay of biscay i guess will be the first uh, test yeah. for us when we have yeah. uh, more more days. But just to keep it short, we try to uh, we stay with the normal routines that we have for her, like uh, feeding or eating and taking naps and her yeah. bedtime. Yeah. Uh, so she goes <clears throat> to bed like six thirty, and she did the same when we were sailing. So when we sailed north, now we are up in the archipelago on the west coast of Sweden. Mm -hmm. We also did an overnight sail. So we decided that Johan, he took the night, the, the whole night actually, because when it's only one night, you you can manage to do it, yeah. even if you're super tired when you arrive. <laughs> and I was um, taking care of Vera and yeah. put her to bed. So, yeah. yeah. yeah and that, that's as you said as well, you take, now you take one night, next time you make two or three, and then, then all of a sudden you, you're into this again, and she will yeah. be used to it as well. Yeah, I mean, yeah. her, she has been like, she is just as happy as normal. And, uh, yeah. but of course, but, it will maybe will change if we will, we will have hard weather, yeah, uh, yes. bad weather. But. It's also different now. Now it's winter. So, it's, of course, sailing now is harder than in the summer and mm. than in the tropics. Everything is easier when it's yeah. warm. warm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, that will also be a big difference. Here's actually a question that says, what's the name of your YouTube channel? Oh, oh. Yeah. 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 Well, well, I will send a link to everybody okay. afterwards yeah. in an email with a link to the YouTube channel. I can just, if you don't subscribe to Johan and Marlin's YouTube channel, which is called Rans, and you should really do it. This is really uh, feel good television, if you can say that. You will be really happy when you uh, watch you. And I think yeah. they give a really, what's it called? Uh, both the upsides, but also the downsides of the cru cruising life, which I think is really good. You don't just show always all the glamorous stuff because all of us expect, of course, that when you are long distance cruising, you are on the beach all the time. They're like palm trees. And of course, it's not. No, <laughs> not, <it's> not, <laughs> not really. No. And that was something that was really important for us when we started to making the videos. Like we yeah. want to show the, the full reality of what it's really like to uh, go long distance sailing, yeah. be a liveaboard. Uh, so like some people say that 
where some people that aren't into sailing or know what it's about, they say like, but what are you spending all your time during the days? What are you doing? <laughs> You're having vacation all the time. There is so, always uh, something to do on the boat. Yeah. And, yeah. When you have a boat, there's always something to do. And also yeah. when you're traveling, like there is so much planning into traveling, just like logistics, you have to. Uh, the laundry is a bit more complicated. Yeah, you but all the to... uh, prepare food, yeah. all those type of um, things. And you, it's like normally like buying food if you need to um, do a big provisioning. That can be like a it's easily day. a full day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. Um, and you always have sailing, something to. Do. And when you're out sailing, at least we do that. When we're out sailing, the whole family go do the grocery shopping, <laughs> uh, and it, it takes a whole day, as you say. But when you're back home, it's like, okay, I leave the kids at home. Can you take care of them? I go by myself. It will be efficient, and it will take just an hour, and I will be back. And when I'm sailing, it's like, okay, children, let's go. We're going to walk for this long. Then we're going to do the grocery <laughs> shopping. Then we walk back again, and, yeah. and that yeah. takes the whole day. But that's the nice thing when you're out. Yeah, you have yeah. time to do yeah. that. So yeah, that's, exactly. That's, that's, you have the time. Yeah. So, yeah. and it becomes an adventure and uh, an experience in itself just doing yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. And the only rule we have had is that nobody goes from this store if we're not all four of us. So, because we're <laughs> yeah. not out running, it's like you're not leaving this store before <laughs> all four of us going. Okay. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, do you plan? your sailings after your movies or do you plan your movies after your sailing oh, <laughs> oh we plan uh our our, our what is no <laughs> what is it now no. no we sail to the places we like to visit yeah. and then we'll make videos from that yeah. Yes. So, and I mean, it goes hand in hand because yeah, I mean, we will film and share things that we think are excited or places that we are that seems exciting that we want to visit. So, yeah, we would go to those places anyway because yeah. it's what we want to do and that's what we want to share too. Yeah, and sometimes we sail back to a place that we, yeah. yeah because we like yeah. it so much, even if we have been filming there before. So, I mean, mm. it's... But it's definitely like we think about like, okay, but the, where can we go where there will be something interesting yeah. to see? Mm. Mm. So, and when we get there, of course, we're thinking about what would be cool fun. to tell about this place, yeah. maybe some of the history or mm. yeah, some local things, so. Mm. Some cool places. I I told, told told the story before about that it's it's not sometimes it's really funny working while you're cruising but I've also had a lot of good experiences like like riding in a in a tea house in a Morocco and getting a lot of contact just by being then writing and people ask what you're doing and you get a lot of contacts and uh, mm -hmm. Do, do you have also had some good experience of it because when you come with your cameras or something oh you yeah, mean when, yeah when we're but, out filming yeah no yeah. but i mean i mean i think yeah and i think many agree it's like the best thing about traveling is all the people you meet yeah and yes. and something extra nice with the ours like the youtube channel has made that we meet even more people yeah. and uh, like locals uh, have we we met so many more locals in places that we've gone to because there have been followers yeah. and we've been able to see so much more of places that i think we wouldn't have been able to see otherwise no. thanks to followers yeah, yeah. so that's they have really the like local the knowledge that we don't have and it's yeah getting insight to what yeah. what's nice about that area so that's really a yeah. I, I, but there's and of course when we people see us like with a quite big camera <laughs> with a big microphone yeah. people wonder like what are you doing yeah, and especially and, when you're walking around and talking to the camera yourself then people <laughs> <laughs> look at you like are you crazy yeah, <laughs> yeah. So there, yeah there have been many fun meetings and uh chats with people and uh yeah like meeting people and then the, you get uh, invited to their home yeah. uh, just mm -hmm. like someone you met that wasn't a follower that you just like the one of the guys who worked in the harbor in in a first port in alaska when we arrived yeah. to kodiak island yeah. uh he had some uh, i think swedish um 
heritage. heritage. Yeah. So he was so excited to see our Swedish flag on the boat and uh, <laughs> was so, super excited when we talked about what we're doing. So he invited us to his, his and his family's home. We could use their shower. Yeah. The, we could do some laundry there. So just all these fantastic meetings with people really. It's, mm. that's yeah, that's best. really... So I think that the, to having the YouTube cha channel, that's really, I mean, normally when you're traveling, you meet a lot of people, but the YouTube channel really boosts that mm -hmm. even more because we yeah. we meet the guys and the people that are watching our videos and we get yeah. a, a different yeah. insight, I guess. So yeah. that's nice. You have been to a lot of uh, wonderful uh, pl places. Is there, is there one place you maybe, Maybe it's not the best place to sell or with the nicest people. What's the place that gave you like big impression in your hearts or something? Uh... Mm. Well, I think we both agree like on Alaska and yeah. it is a great place to sail too there. Yeah. Uh, oh, was... But you, you need a good uh, engine because there's a lot of motoring when you're there in yeah. the summer. But that was just amazing, that place. Yeah, it was, a, I mean, when we sailed there, we had spent two years in the tropics before that. So we were longing for a bit colder climate. <laughs> Sailing to get there was pretty tough. First, we had to sail out to Hawaii and then yeah, it's, it's a long sail going up there. But uh, once there, it was just uh, so worth it. Yeah, I mean, the wildlife, the, na and the nature, it's so uh, fantastic and uh, just yeah. special. And, and it was still it's remote, but it's not that remote that you won't find any civilization at all oh. you will pass by like some fishing villages so yeah. we could still upload the videos <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And, and buy food and um yeah. fuel uh, stuff but, like that well, but uh, we would love we would love to return to alaska so someday. alaska and also of course british columbia the whole yeah side passage going yeah. down there it was it looks fantastic on those pictures. Mm -hmm. But it, mm -hmm. it could be interesting to hear also, do your viewers or your followers, do they also think that Alaska was one of the best things? Can, can you see that like in the comments or in the lights? Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. yeah many of the followers we, we we meet, they say that, oh, our, my favorite was the Alaska trip. That was so uh, special, so cool yeah. to see. So yeah, I definitely yeah. think so. Yeah. It's, um, yeah, highlight. I, mean, I mean, we don't know, but uh, definitely many, a lot of a lot yeah. of people liked it, uh, and also the sail to get there. Like I said, was quite special because it was a long sail. It was like two Atlantic crossings in a row, getting to Hawaii from Costa Costa Rica, and then another Atlantic crossing, the same distance going north from Hawaii up to Alaska. So a lot of sailing to get there, but yeah. Yeah, it was definitely worth it. Worth it yeah. yeah, yeah, it yeah. looks fantastic. Yes. Mm, 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 mm. Now, let's see here. Now, do you have a yeah? No, I, I, I would like also to hear if you could tell maybe one of the most uh, difficult places to uh, to uh, m m make your uh, m movies. Oh, mm. that must be maybe the San Blas Islands. We were struggling a lot <laughs> with, uh, yeah. with the internet. Uh, it took uh, 72 hours to get uh, to upload one video. Yeah. So <laughs> we we had to upload three videos because I think we had to skip like one week because we couldn't upload. We didn't find oh. internet. So then we like we found one spot where we could find 3G. Yeah. Taking, so we decided, very okay, slow let's stand here and we just put like the the phone, like hotspot, share the internet and we uploaded three um, videos and I think it took five days and in the end, <laughs> my, my phone, it like exploded, the battery got overheated, so, hot, yeah. so it like cracked oh. the whole screen and everything and... Uh, oh, that was hmm. difficult, I mean, <laughs> that was an super nice area and place to, to cruise around but just being a youtuber was definitely a challenge there too. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, um, and but what we normally do is not like um we normally um have several episodes um already made and we schedule those on youtube yeah. so that when we know that we're going to like a more remote area we 
we will have videos coming out anyway because we've scheduled them yeah. uh, but this time i think we had already been for like some weeks before that yeah. um in yeah. remote places we were like yeah we couldn't keep up with the oh. internet oh. but that's actually lou has a really good trick for yeah, you here, which that. you can use the next time right in here you need to smuggle out your videos via sd cards in a bottle so i Give this tip to you. I think you can do that the next time, right? Yeah, yeah that would have maybe been faster. <laughs> yeah. 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 But uh, there's a question as well. Uh, do, did you have the same uh, sailing experience, both of you, when you left? No. Oh, yeah. uh, so uh, when uh, you and I met, uh, we met in 2014. I had never been sailing or been on a sailboat before. <laughs> So uh, we actually had our first date on board the old boat. Uh, so that was my first experience for, uh, of a sailboat. Yeah, and yeah, I, I have been sailing quite a, a lot before we met. I sailed, um, been sailing to the Caribbean, back and forth to Sweden. I sailed uh, South America and Antarctica. Uh, yeah, and a lot of sailing in the Atlantic, really. Yeah. Uh, but you started sailing like when you were 20. Yeah. And your first trip was going to the Caribbean and back. So yeah, I learned how to sail on the way more or less. So yeah, it has been a very different experience for for the both of us. Like he coming from he had a lot of knowledge and I didn't have any at all really. So I had yeah. just sailed a little bit like for two summers before we left Sweden. Yeah. Uh, but I felt, I mean, so confident in him with all his knowledge. So um I think that was uh, very easy for me. <laughs> yeah. But uh, now I know a lot. It's been. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, you see that? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, as Ma Margarita said before, we made uh, six uh, television programs for the Swedish television. So we have had our five, uh, I could say five, five minutes. Min minutes of fame. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, you have had five years of fame. How do you how do you handle that? <laughs> I, I don't know. Fame, it's, yeah, but, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, I don't know. Strange to think uh, like that we were famous or well, or something, but. Uh, yeah, I mean, we really like love to meet people, like we said before. So I don't think it's really the, the only hard part is that we get a lot of comments and emails, yeah. and we don't simply don't have the time to answer all of it. So sometimes you feel a bit um, how do you bad, say? like uh, bad yeah, conscious uh, that you, you don't have the time to answer all these emails and that people oh. are writing to you. So yeah. that's uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's the hardest part. But uh, yeah. it's so much fun to meet all our followers and yeah. as we said before like there have been so many nice experiences thanks to that and people mm. have just been yeah. so extremely helpful and uh, generous like it's it's amazing to see that like there are so many good in this world so many good people and yeah. that is so nice to be um, mm. reminded of and um, we're just so thankful for that and if we can give um, something in return, like some inspiration and yeah, some videos, good yeah, information, sure. we're just so happy with that. And just like, um, I mean, our goal is to just inspire people to go and live their dreams, basically. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And somebody is asking, are you thinking of going back to Antarctica? Could you plan that with the Vera as well now? Yeah, uh, I mean, I I told myself that uh, once, w one more time in my life, I want to go back, especially to South Georgia Island, yeah. but maybe also to Antarctica. But sailing there with, uh, as a family with uh, with Vera, uh, I don't think that's uh, at least not on a boat like this. Uh, wow. It's plus fiber. Yeah, I mean yeah. it's it's tough sailing for sure, sailing yeah. down there, and it's uh, maybe sailing down to Cape Horn and sailing in Patagonia. That's maybe something that we're um, thinking about, about because uh, yeah. that's more yeah, like an archipelago and you can plan more and you can um, hide but, out and yeah see but sailing out. like to South Georgia Island you're so exposed and you definitely will hit some really nasty weather going there so mm -hmm. that's yeah. not uh, but who knows you, you never know but it's no. not like in something <clears throat> that we plan like in the near future at least <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> I, I heard that you said in the near 
future. <laughs> <laughs> but I know that people are wondering about what are you thinking about this spring now, the summer, what's the plan and the pandemic, vaccine uh, and all those things. Do yeah. you have a plan for that? <laughs> well, we have a plan, but um, it's, uh, we it's don't really know hard. if we can do it. So it's really like, no, uh, yeah. it's not up to us really now. And but, I, mean, I mean, the, the plan was that we were, that we should already be on our way south. Yeah, uh, since after, but, after the summer last yeah. year, we were planning to sail south. But, um, um, and we still are. We would like to sail down to the Mediterranean and spend the summer there this year. Mm. But so right now we're just waiting um, yeah. for like Europe to open up because um, many countries in Europe that we would stop in on our way south are still closed. Uh, it's I mean, the, total lockdown and mm. they require um, many it's require quarantine. Yeah, it's very complicated. And yeah. also with Vera now, we we prefer to do like shorter trips with more stops mm. and also it wouldn't be fun yeah it's winter and it wouldn't be fun to be stuck in quarantine with her not being able to get off the boat so in the meantime i mean we're just th grateful that we can sail here in sweden yeah so, so i, I guess, guess we'll have to wait maybe two or three more months maybe so start mm. sailing maybe in may hopefully and uh, if we're lucky, we maybe we can get the vaccine before we leave, uh, because yeah. there's talk about this vaccine uh, passport and stuff like that. So in, if that's something that they were implement in a lot of countries, we really need to have be vaccinated to be able to travel. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I guess we could take the vaccine somewhere in Europe, in the European Union, because we have the, uh, the same, not the same healthcare system, but uh, I, I guess it would be possible. But. Yeah. So we'll see uh, how things yeah. develop now during the spring. Yeah, but and, we know uh, there are many people that have much worse than us yeah. than we do. I mean, so yeah, we're lucky that we can sail here in Sweden. Yeah. That's for sure. Yes, and, and with the pictures that you sent to Thomas here showing the west coast, sometimes you wonder if you even have to leave Sweden. <laughs> I know, yeah, and, and the good season is about to start now so uh, yeah. We're yeah. Going, yeah it's coming so um, oh it's beautiful yeah. up here yeah the yeah, only downside really of nice. sailing in sweden i guess is the short season mm -hmm. otherwise it's really a lot of nice places here perfect yeah. cruise grounds yes. absolutely yes. i know there is people thinking that they would love you to share videos about how you prepare yourself in uh, before a long-term sailing with uh, buying foods and what are you cooking and those things but that's in the chat here so you can read it afterwards okay but i know that they want videos about that <laughs> i think there are a, a video about that but that was one of the videos that we made for the first atlantic crossing so some years ago yeah. like episode mm -hmm. Yeah. 15 or something mm. like that. Yeah, right. Okay. So I can include it in the, the, the I can send an email if you uh, to the to the pa participants now so they can get the link to that. Um oh, yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. When it's coming up. Great, yes. And you Yes, can time I is. One yes, one time. I just want to say, time is flying by. It's incredible. Yeah. So fast, time is going. So let's have a few questions. Yeah, there's a lot off. of more questions, but I know there's interest about what kind of video equipments do you have? Mm. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good question. Uh, yeah. We actually have everything collected in uh, something called, uh, like on Amazon, um, the the website where you can shop things. We have our own little store where yeah. we have gathered like all the camera gear equipment. We have gathered some like uh, good uh, guidebooks. Um, that we've used and tools and stuff like that so yeah. and you find that page on our website uh, ronsailing.se um, yeah. uh, you will find the link to that page there so um yeah. and we, yeah, we the yes. thing you send yes out. i can include it in the email also yeah that web page. The, yeah. the link to your web page and yeah. uh, yes yeah yes yeah. yeah. everything is listed there all yeah. the cameras and drones and yeah. everything and yeah. Yeah. Great. How long did it take before you got money from your money enough from your YouTube? 
Oh, yeah. uh, so we could live. Uh, an interesting question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we started seeing, uh, like, noticing, like, during that first year, like, in towards the end of that year, like, yeah. we were starting going, like. I mean, not yeah. that we could live from. I guess it took two years uh, before we could say that. Okay, now uh, we have stopped draining our savings, so mm. we have money coming in. So have stuff to plug the holes from our saving yeah. uh, so we could start uh, living from the from the videos about two years i would say yeah um, because we met you yeah in the start sometimes 17 2017 mm. and then we talked about it then because we heard people in the caribbean said there's a swedish boat doing youtube okay we, said, we, did, <laughs> we didn't know that when when who it was by then but mm. then we met you and yeah. after a while we could figure out ah that's you making the youtube <laughs> yeah <laughs> and we were talking about that that yes you could uh, manage to survive in caribbean uh, yeah. for that money mm. and maybe sometimes you can live in a cheaper way that in the warm weather as well yeah yeah for sure yeah it's I mean, very different when you spend most of your time at anchor than in yeah. in marina so yeah yeah, yeah. Maybe you could just tell a little bit more about all the administration. I mean, you run this like a company, right? And you pay yeah. taxes or? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, we have a Swedish company yeah. pays uh, tax in, in Sweden and uh, we do like all the accounting ourselves. Yeah, I do and, the accounting. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Malin does the editing, I do the accounting. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's, so, um, yeah and, yeah, and the company, like having a company in Sweden does also that you save automatically for your pension yeah. too. So um Yeah, and also we get healthcare in Sweden and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. it's yeah, it's nice in a way to yeah. to have the company yeah, here. Yeah, definitely. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do do you have any tips to uh, to other people who want to start a uh, YouTube channel or um, maybe it's not a sailing YouTube channel but you want to get yes yeah, to get started? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Maybe. I think yeah we thought about that and I think yeah. like first and foremost um, be yourself. Yeah, definitely. Uh, because if you start off not being yourself you will you know down the line you will exhaust yourself yeah. because that's not feasible in the long run mm. not being yourself so and like be yourself yeah sure. and second uh, like we talked about earlier that it's quite important to have like maybe you set a date uh, when you publish a video so like the viewers mm. will um, know that uh, mm. and be consistent in that yeah. so like if you have every week or every two weeks because yeah. that will help to grow your channel yeah. um because that is somehow like how youtube's algorithm works mm. but that algorithm is also a big mystery yeah. and it changes <laughs> sure. uh, all the time yeah. so it's very hard to know yeah. like what to do to um and we're not super good at that game either. There's no. so much stuff you can do, but we don't do all of it because it's... Uh, and it's difficult yeah. also. Uh, English is not our first, first yeah. lang language. So because titles is quite important to to yeah. put good titles. Uh, and that's a little difficult. We um, think yep. a lot about that. But back yeah. to the tips. Yeah, be yourself. Also be consistent with uploads yeah. and have patience. And also, yeah, have patience. Yeah, have patience for sure. But, and maybe because it takes time. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe a fourth tip would be, I think a sweet spot for a lot of people is for a video length, maybe between f fifteen to maybe maximum, yeah, twenty minutes. Yeah. I think some. that's uh, somewhere what yeah. the most people like mm. the attention span if you make a half an hour long video a lot of people lose in interest after yeah. 20 mm -hmm. minutes so yeah can we just have a very quick explanation for how do you make money out of your youtube channel yeah of course money yeah. from the patreon yeah it's uh, uh youtube have um ads that you can put on your videos and or youtube actually put it automatically on your videos uh but you can choose how much if yeah. you want to put more so uh you will get some money from that uh it's 
and that is so you get like a few cents per view right mm -hmm. yeah, and, uh, and if it, and, sure. and more if someone watches the whole the full commercial yeah. and stuff like and that click on it and different variables mm -hmm. but, so that is one part but then the big part is from patreon that is a separate uh, platform mm -hmm. uh, it's a sort of crowdfunding like um, you know many people they don't watch like cable tv anymore they watch youtube they have a subscription on netflix for example and it's basically the same thing just that here you support the creator right away uh, like it can be a YouTube channel, it can be an artist, a podcast. So people who create something mm. and it's they, they don't like, they're not backed with a big um, TV production <laughs> yeah. company or anything like that. Yeah. So you support their work like directly yeah. and you can get some maybe extra um, footage or bonus material or yeah. just get in contact more with us directly. Yeah. yeah. So those yeah. are the two. Yeah, and, mo and mostly because sailing is such a niche. Uh, I mean, it's really, if you look on YouTube, sailing is kind of small. I mean, the biggest sailing channel, I guess, is Sailing La Vagabond, and they have mm -hmm. like 1.5 million subscribers. And that's mm -hmm. on YouTube, that's kind of small if you compare it to, <laughs> I mean, so it's, uh, and they're super big in the sailing YouTube world. Mm, uh, yeah. But a small channel or a channel like we, we're really small. So it's not really possible to live from the AdSense money that you earn on YouTube because yeah. it's more geared to, towards the channels that have like millions of uh, subscribers yeah. and, and views. Yeah. And yeah. the sailing doesn't really get that because it's, yeah, it's kind of a niche. But uh, those are the two. Um, so that's why we. Yeah. Or dependent yeah. on patreon as well so that's like yeah we put you put the green bottom here buy a beer that's like <laughs> a patreon here if you want to see more of those webinars <laughs> you just put in a, something for the beer and we can meet those yeah. lovely people and have a yeah. nice meeting. <laughs> and you yeah. have your <laughs> yeah. Yes. yeah that was very um easy to explain <laughs> or in a very easy way yeah yes. yeah yes. Uh, yeah. We've been talking for almost an, an hour now, so it, it's been really interesting, really funny talking with you here. And uh, people who have been uh, participating in these webinars before, they know that I will soon start joking about that uh, normally you would get flowers and a hug, but of course we cannot give you a hug uh, <laughs> as thank you and uh, and buying wine. you. you you know also that if we buy wine, we don't buy it in Sweden, we sell to Denmark and buy it, right? So yeah. uh, we cannot even give you a bottle of wow. wine. We cannot give you flowers because there's no flowers in the garden. So uh, so what I would like to thank you for participating is want to give you a copy of a new book. Well, it's just a piece of paper until now, but it's <laughs> <really good. laughs> and, and you can decide yourself, do you want it in Danish or do you want it in Swedish? Oh. Swedish. Oh, Swedish. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, Vera is waking up, so she's making oh, up. Yeah. Stop. But I, just, I will be around. But so. thank you so much, everyone. Uh, great thank to you. see. Uh, with big thanks to everyone who watched. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> crazy ending. <laughs> yes. It was good timing, right? Good timing. Yes. Yeah. Have around. a nice evening, everybody, and uh, we'll see you out there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, everyone, for watching, and thanks <laughs> <Bye>. for. <laughs> bye bye. bye. <laughs>